What's happening everybody, Teddy Pear here and welcome to another stream of mine. Uh, I just got off this game and it was really really fun, I had a lot of fun playing it. And let's get right to the team analysis. The teams are in this case uh, almost very similar uh, with Atanis, Rhaegar, Nova, Malfuron and Sylvanas on the blue team. And another Atanis, Nova, Sylvanas, Reyna and Malfurion on the red team. So it's only a single hero difference, just substitute. Rhaegar on the blue team or Reyna on the red team. However, for the analysis, it's going to be very different in terms of who has the advantage. So it is very easy to say that red team has uh, the greater advantage here because uh, they have a more balanced team layout with one tank, um, two DPS, one specialist and one support. The blue team is going to be lacking in DPS, substituting the uh, one DPS for two supports and so in this case uh, how blue team is going to win is to be able to support Artanis as much as possible so uh, you know Artanis is a tank hero but with the ability of twin blades he is going to be able to do a lot of damage to the enemy team and as long as the two supports will be able to keep Artanis alive uh, chances are during the team fights Artanis can take out the low HP heroes like Nova and Reyna and Malfuron uh, very easily and on the red team side uh, they are a very balanced team so all they have to do is ensure that Artanis crowds control uh, well with, the, with his uh, orbital beam and for Reyna and Sylvanas to deal consistent amount of DPS and Nova to clean up Malfuron of course will be supporting the red team's Artanis as much as possible so without further ado, let's get right into the game. This map will be the battlefield of eternity. And of course, uh, for those who don't know how the map works, all you have to do is to win, to fight for the immortals uh, when they come. So two immortals will spawn on uh, certain timings on the map, and you have to actually defend or attack the opponent's immortal. The first to destroy the enemy's immortal will have their own immortal fighting for them. You'll see this uh, in the map later on. So both teams have now spawned on the map and we have now begun our battle let's look at the tier one uh, the level one talent uh, reactive parry for red teams artanis uh, side ops rangefinder for red teams nova a very interesting build uh, instead of ambush snipe he's going for the increased range and decrease the cooldown of snipe malfuron goes for shando clarity uh, with the win uh, for Sylvanas. On the red team, we have Reactive Fairy on Atanas, Ambush Snipe for Nova, Barb Shot instead of the With the Wind, which incre increases the damage to minions and mercenaries. The red team Sylvanas is going to go for the structure damage as compared to the range damage. Very interesting build there. Rainer with Season Marksman and Harmony for Malfuron instead of Shando's Clarity. Malfuron on the blue team might be a going for, for a bit uh, a bit more DPS -y side. So uh, we've already had seen our first blood. The blue team's Artanis will be taken down uh, with a gank from the red team. And so now we have on two lanes uh, the Sylvanas on the bottom lane going for the structure damage and also harassment of each other so those action will be on the top lane um, just right off the bat already having a lot of clashes two blue team heroes taken down Nova went down with Rega. so we've now seen a total of three hero deaths in just one minute of the game Artanis taken down Rega taken down and Nova has already been taken down red team already in this very sizable lead of one level up but of course both teams will be able to quickly reach the level 2 um, without unlock and but red team might be closer to the level 4 times as of now but of course it's still very early in the game very hard to say and so the trick of this map will be for the red team to effectively zone out the enemies especially when the immortals spawn which is right now so when the immortals spawn the red team as i already mentioned has a much stronger dps as compared to the blue team the blue team will be will need to defend their immortal much more than the red team or the red team will be going for the offense as you can see right off the bat the red team four heroes are going for the immortal both sylvanas are still on the bottom lane going going for the structure damage is very easy to see that the blue team sylvanas is going to have a lane advantage over the red team sylvanas uh, probably because of the increased range to give the damage much more creeps but discounting both sylvanas on the bottom lane 
the red team has a very offensive advantage already with half of the half of the enemy team's immortal down. Blue team has to defend their mortals as much as possible. And now right now they're going for a clash. Atani's heading down for the red team's Atani's as much as possible. The Atani's shield pops, but will be taken down by the intense onslaught by the blue teams Nova, Rhaegar, and Malfuron. So uh, with Atani's down, the red team's Offensive capabilities is going to be uh, slackened a bit more. The red team's Nova coming in to try to harass the blue team to slow down the process of the red immortal uh, going down. But the blue immortal is still at a very low HP, easily going to be taken down by a few more hits of the red team, especially from the intent strong DPS from red team's Rainer. Atanis has spawned and he's jumped right back into the fray, uh, going for the defense. Uh, so, I mean, going for the offense of already attacking the blue team's immortal Malfuron here going for an attacking boost to try to disrupt but he's going to be captured by the red team's Atanis Atan will be able to take it down and will be taken down by the red team's very well placed knight but the red team's Atanis might be taken down by the blue team's Atanis right there so the blue immortal is suffering a huge siege damage but considering that this is actually an early game stage this is really intense the most, most of the blue team's hero has been down, a huge team fight has just occurred and the blue team has already lost. This is really one example of how the blue team will lose out in terms of DPS and the red team has an overwhelming advantage of one level above the blue team in only the 3, three minute mark. Definitely a very very um, advantageous position for the red team. And now the red team has managed to successfully capture the immortal and the immortal will proceed to push bottom lane. So let's look take a look at the level 4 talents for both teams. Tempter, Zeal, Stormcaller, and Venom, Rampant Growth, and, and Venom for both the Sylvanas and the Nova. The blue team, knowing that they're lacking on the DPS, goes for uh, increased DPS. A very special ten, uh, talent build for Nova. First time I actually seen the Nova actually pick that Venom in my case, uh, but then again, haven't really seen much. Uh, Malfuron gets taken down by the Nova Snipe. Nova Snipe on the red team dealing a lot of damage. After all, no, this Nova actually increased, uh, added the ambush time and the gathering power, which allows them to do a lot of damage. And then the blue team's Rhaegar will also be taken down. The red team doing a fantastic push with tier 1 Immortal. This is not even tier 4, and yet the Immortal, together with the incredible might of the red team, will be able to take down the first fort. Which is incredible for the first Immortal in just 4 minutes. The, re the Immortal will be knocking on the door of the blue team's base. The blue team with very limited firepower with only Malfuron and Sylvanas will be able to take down the red team's Immortal as fast as they want. The whole red team is at the bottom lane right now, knocking on the blue team's door, already destroying one tower with a 2 level advantage over the blue team. Red team's Atanis will be taken down with Sylvanas. Um, to find us the DOT. Oh, that's awesome. Thanks, Tommy. Okay, and blue team has a, a, a really has a very overwhelming disadvantage for them. The red team has already unlocked their level 7 talents with follow through from Atanas, anti armor shells for Nova, unstable poison for Sylvanas. Revolution Overdrive for Rainer and Enjoying Growth for Malfuron. Uh, for the level 4 talents for the red team, Lethal Alacrity, Gathering Power and Venom, Focused Attack and Rampant Growth for the, the talents on the red team. So right now, blue team is in a very overwhelming condition. They have lost the momentum, especially from a very, very strong push from the bottom lanes, Immortal. Um, they have actually taken down all the way to almost the gate of the blue team's core, blue team's for, uh, blue team's base. And now they'll be fiercely pushing the top tower, and this gives them even, even greater level advantage over the blue team. The red team doing a very good job capitalizing on their momentum, and will be very easily taking down the top blue teams. The blue team coming in a bit too late, Atan is initiating the fight, and then the red team has to retreat. The Atan is going for the Rainer, Rainer at very low HP, the adrenaline overload kicking in, bringing Atan to a very nice help, before I'm healing their Rainer, and the blue team knowing that they won't be able to take down any red team as much. The blue team at their help, they slowly disengaging and moving the fight away from them. Very smart move, if blue team actually managed to jump right into the fray, they would probably have been taken down as right there.
there and the red team has unlocked the level 10 talents uh, red team going for purifier beam for Artanis as mentioned in the team analysis triple tap for Nova wailing arrow for Sylvanas Hyperion for Reyna very good talent to zone out the enemy team especially when taking the immortals and tranquility for Malfurion and then the red team once again jumping straight into the blue team immortal instantly taking it to half of his HP right now and then the blue team sitting helplessly they know they have to defend the immortals as much as possible and luckily for them the immortal uh, randomly spawns at the their own side of the map and so if red team has to, wants to take down the immortal they have to go through the entire gate of the blue team and right now the really arrow hits the blue team is silent the armor to be purified being comes down to zoning down Savannah. but Ata blue team Atani still goes in right in the middle of the red team the is taken down by the entire force of the red team Malfurion tries his best to heal them, but isn't to any avail. After all, the red team has unlocked the level 10 talent. They have a huge power surge as compared to the blue team. And then the blue red team has a jumping into the blue team's immortal. The blue team's immortal going for a stun, but misses. Oh, it actually hits them, hitting three of the red team's heroes. But with the healing might of the red team's Malfurion, will be able to sustain the team long enough to take down the blue team's immortal. The blue team sitting helplessly, knowing that they have no, have no way to defend them. Oh, this is another easy camp for the red team to, to get their red immortal up and coming and red immortal will be going to the top lane will be pushing the top lane the top four has already been destroyed the blue team however has already hit the level 10 talents uh, thanks to Malfuron who is at the top lane gathering the exp for the team so at level 10 uh, the blue team has suppression pulse instead of the purifier beam it has the ancestral healing on Vega, Persistent Strike, Tranquility, and Wailing mind. Arrow. So once again, this seems like the whole blue team is supporting the Atans as much as possible. And then the blue, the Anomas, uh, over the way comes down, try to take out the hero. Uh, Ray, both one team down on both sides. Rega and Reyna has been taken down. Um, Atan is going in to try to take down both Atan, Sylvanas and the Red Team's Atanis, but has failed. They have retreated and they know they have to defend the, defend the gates right now or else the Red Team's Immortal will be dealing so much more damage to the Blue Team's fort. They're really destroying the gate. It looks like the Red Team will be able to deal significant amount of damage to the Blue Team's fort. Or uh, maybe not. The, blue, the Red Team's Immortal is already going to be taken down without almost losing them as much as possible. The Red Team not even losing is now pushing the bottom the lane, maintaining the level advantage the over the blue team. Time. Red team definitely doing a very, very uh, good effort in terms of zoning. The red team's Atan is doing a very, very good effort in zoning out the blue team's uh, entire force and also allowing the red team's DPS to slowly. Uh, consistently deal damage to the important uh, characters of the blue team like Sylvanas, Malfuron and Rhaegar who are supporting uh, Artanis. So the blue team, uh, red team will once again be attacking the blue team's support. It is a very delicate situation for the blue team especially when the blue team is still trying to attack their bruiser camp. Red team at a really uh, overwhelming advantage on level 30. Sylvanas, who's um, one, already one of the main damage dealers. So for the level 13 talent for the red team, we have Triple Strike, Lethal Decoy, Evasive Fire, Giant Killer, and Life Seed for the red team. Level uh, level 13 uh, has been achieved by the blue team. Blue team has now um, closed up the gap, but it's still one level difference between the red team. The red team still maintaining their advantage over the blue team. The mortals have spawned, but this time it's... 
pretty different. The blue team is going straight for Immortal, and with the and with the silence and the blind from the blue team's Atanis, has managed to effectively zone out the red team. The Atanis pretty full HP, but the Rhaegar manages to hit it ultimately. Atanis is back at full HP and back to two damage. Red team's Mount Furon caught in a very delicate situation. The red team's Mount Furon has come down. The blue team's Mount Furon is taken down by Nova, and he's gonna take down the blue team's Atanis as well. Blue team and is at a 3v5 situation, they have to retreat, and then, but the red team is, isn't letting off just as of now. Atan is coming in and trying to defeat the blue team's Nova, but Atan is very low HP, uh, takes the wise move, and goes for the blue team's Immortal. Blue team's Immortal may be, be full HP, but the red team is at 5 heroes right now. It is a very good chance that the red team can capture the turn Immortal straight. That's just not all, not all of the problems for the red team, for the blue team. The blue team is going to suffer a huge onslaught on the uh, top fort. If the red team does manage to destroy the top fort, they will be able to spawn their siege camps and will be able to do even more damage to the blue team's core. The red team is going to get stunned. A huge amount of AoE damage and Nova's orbital beam manages to take down the red team's Raider. Red team's Sylvanas uh, at very low HP and has to be treated. And now the Situation has changed. The red team is now three on five. Three H, three four HP red team heroes have to go against five of the blue team heroes. But then the red team's top fort has been destroyed. The mercenary groups are will be going for the blue team's core and blue team Sylvanas half stack to try to defend their core from the mercenaries from the red team. But in this case, the tables have turned quite a bit. The blue team has managed to get the red team's immortal to lower than half HP. Blue team's Atan is doing a very, very, very good job at keeping the red team, red team away from the main, uh, from the main supports, which is Malfuron and Rhaegar, allowing them to support Atan so as he can continue doing damage and also to make sure that the health is as healthy as possible. And the red team's Atan is moving to the down by Nova's ultimate. And very very good job on the blue team's part. So right now we can see that the tables has more or less turned. The blue team has managed, despite the level advantage, despite the loss of momentum in the early game, will be able to take down a lot of members from the red team, maintaining this momentum and potentially managing to get rid of the red team's immortal, allowing this mortal to keep pushing in the blue team, probably the first immortal victory. But Atanis gets captured by Malfuron and Tanglement after. But Artanis is going for the red team's immortal, trying his best, but won't be able to hit it just as yet. Rhaegar comes in, is going to go for another guerrilla tactic of 1.6k immortal HP. Will he be able to be faster than the three red team heroes going for the blue team's immortal? The Malfuron comes in, tries his best to sort of interrupt the process of the, of the red team downing immortal, but isn't going to be very very successful in this set. The red team and immortal is a immortal race. The objective they have to try their best. And oh my gosh, the blue team managed to get rid of the red team's immortal oh, in a no, sliver of a second with 500 way. HP left on their blue team, their blue immortal, their first blue team immortal victory. And it's a very monumental one because if red team would have gotten their immortal, it will be able to lay waste to their fort Hell's at gates. the bottom lane. The whole blue team's fort core will be exposed, giving it a red team a huge leap, a huge advantage when this game. But the blue team still manages to capture the blue team's immortal. And right now we can see that momentum has shifted to the blue team's favor. The blue team is right now pushing hard into the top fort of the red team. And now it's going for the team fight. Malfuron going, both Malfuron's going for the, uh, for the heal. And then the blue team is in a retraining position right now, providing covering fire for Nova. With the waiting arrow going out, it's a silence. And with the silence and with the entangling room for Malfuron, it seems that Red Team won't be able to successfully catch up and launch a counter attack to the blue team. A very well timed waiting arrow. Uh, it might be an ultimate, it might be a waste of an ultimate, if some might say. But with that wailing arrow, Red Team won't be able to deal a lot of damage and take down any evil one. Rhaegar jumps into the free of the Red Team team and he's gonna be taken down by the entire Red Team. The Atanis comes in and trying to save Rhaegar, but he's gonna be at very low HP. Will Atanis live? Yes, he manages to live, get the safety of the game. But with Rhaegar now, wasting a very, very well-timed uh, waiting.
waiting arrow as I mentioned just now and now red team looks like no hero to capture the booter camp of the blue team spot the blue team's camp but the red team at a very low HP Melfrio might be taken down oh when he's saved by his own regroup a uh, very well played but much can't be said for the blue team's Melfrio blue team's Melfrio will be taken down by Artanis red team Sylvana providing covering fire with his very low HP and Blue team's Artanis will be taken down by the red. Will take down the red team's Artanis, but will slowly be counter taken down by Nova. One by one, each pieces are falling, and now we are in a situation of three versus two. Uh, blue team now at much more advantage. And remember that I said that red team has the EXP advantage. Well, look at it right now. Both teams are at the same level. Both unlocking level 16 ta talents. Seal sh shield surge, Earth grabs totem, double fake, tenacious roots. Co Embrace, Titan Killer, Double Fake, Co Embrace, Bullseye, and Tenacious Roots. Face Bulwark, Healing Surge, Lethal Decoy, Life Seed, Evasive Fire, uh, Triple Strike, Lethal Decoy, Evasive Fire, Giant Killer, and Life Seed. And so now this is a very interesting situation. Both teams will be jumping right into that immortal. No team will be going for the defense. After all, the immortal are in a very convenient location. I'm uh, now were at their side of the map but now the immortals will shift uh, bring the fight to somewhere else and now this is going to be very interesting the whole all both teams are in the bottom red immortal the red team is defending the immortal blue team is trying to down the immortal for their own and then with the nova ultimate didn't hit anybody raiden going for ultimate away arrow hits and it's going to take down the teams blue teams are trying to do a red big job and once again, zoning out the red team. Melfrio going for the heal, keeping keeping his own teammates alive. Blue team with all their heroes survive with the intense heal. And the Atanis goes in. The enemy team is blinded. And with Vega goes for his ultimate heal. Atanis to full health again. But with a, a very well placed strangling boots from the red team's Melfrio, we'll be able to push the blue team back. But that's not uh, that's definitely not the end. It is after all the objective right now. And the blue team is going for for the red team's immortal. This is a very easy camp for the blue team. The red team is going to come in and try to defend the mouth. Blue team's Malfurion is going to be taken up. But the very very helpful teammate, the blue teams will be able to defend Malfurion. Oh my gosh! And the blue team, Atanis, being a very selfless, very selfless teammate, is going to sacrifice himself to save everybody else. Definitely a very close save by the blue team's Malfurion, but the, it seems that the red team has already, or as, especially red team Nova, has already seen that Malfurion of the blue team is a threat. And with Malfurion's healing, they won't be able to effectively take down the uh, blue team's Artanis. And knowing that Artanis, uh, most of Artanis' strength comes from the maintenance of his HP by the support, red team knows that they have to take down the Malfurion as much as possible and it's very strong of my total will be able to slow Artanis. Artanis in a very dangerous situation with the shield popping up but will red team's Artanis save but Malfurion is already in. Malfurion has been taken down by the red team. The blue team has to retreat knowing that one of the two of their teammates are down. They have no choice but Rhaegar comes in. Rhaegar came in to stop. Use the Ermite to come probably but this looks like they won't be able to save himself. This ultimate on himself is going to be saved by his ultimate. Very, very close for Rhaegar of the blue team. And red team's immortal has been taken down. Uh, red team's immortal actually has dealt quite a significant amount of damage, already lowering the red team's ward to a very, very low HP. Red team going for a counter attack right now, probably going straight for the core as much as is possible. Are they going straight for the core? No, they are actually going to defend, they're going for a very defensive strategy, not so offensive, but after all, it's probably for the better, because they ha are after all of a well balanced team, and Reyna, especially Reyna has added the season marksman talent, uh, will be able to shine a lot in late game, Reyna in the late game can actually take down um, Malfurion and Rhaegar with a lot of relative ease, but a red team uh, waiting for the wave is now going to come in and is going to lay waste to a lot of the blue team spawns. Blue team Artanis comes in again. Melfrion goes in, Artanis goes for his ultimate, hitting every member of the red team. Red team, knowing that there has been outgunned, 
outmatched, they are going for the retreat, and the good strengthening roots uh, secures this decision of the red team to retreat. And it's of no better timing because the immortals have already spawned. And this is easily, I can easily say that when whoever wins this immortal race, uh, this immortal objective capturing, uh, will easily win the game. Uh, very simple because both teams have their, their, their core exposed and the other lane has towers of very relatively low HP. So as long as the immortal comes in and deals damage to their forts right now, the other the entire team can go for the exposed lane which is the top lane for the blue team and the bottom lane for the red team and we will do a lot of damage to the core so this is a decisive team match with Nova's ultimate missing red team Sylvanas Sylvanas will be safe, she's probably going to go back to kill and blue team and red team's Artanis will be going in going for the fight red team's Artanis at a very low HP he's positioned himself wrongly but the entire team fight is at the bottom right now Red, one hero has been taken down from both team sides. Blue team Sylvanas and Red team Reyna will be taken down from the intense AoE from both Nova and Reyna at the same time. Melchior has already went for the strike and then we will capture Artanis with a wailing arrow right now. It's silent. And now Blue team uh, has managed to take down the Red team Nova, but has gone back to defend their immortal. Why uh, Savannah said this is because the red team is going to suffer a huge amount of damage on their core as of now. The blue team still knocking on the red team's immortal. The blue team has to take down the red team's immortal or this glitch you won't be able much because the damage to the core is so intense after the mercenaries have dealt damage 92% already. Atani goes for his counter, he's going to take down the red team's Atani, red team's Atani is going for a retreat. And has very very low HP, but Furon, Red Team's Furon is going to heal it and both will be able to make it to safety. Red Team Sylvanas has also successfully retreated. <coughs> so with this window of opportunity, the blue team now starts to DPS down the Red Team's Immortal. But Red Team's Immortal still isn't going to be down that easily. The Red Team is going to jump back in with the three heroes. Atanis comes in. Everyone will be supporting and Reyna is a consistent DPS go straight for Rega. Rega with just two damage, two hits of the red team's Reyna has already taken his HP down to a very dangerous level. Well enough after much shield, but blue team is gonna be taken down and blue team's Malfion has been taken down by and Nova and Reyna. With blue, with blue team's Malfion taken down, Atanis is slowly gonna be taken down as well. This is a three versus five situation on both sides. And then oh my god! Gosh, and red blue team's Rhaegar has been disseminated as well by the entire blue team. This is intense. The red team isn't even going for an immortal right now. And although the blue team minions is going to attack the red team's core, the red team has ignored the immortal. It's diving straight into the blue team's core. It's such a close match. It's almost a base race, but it is pretty far for the blue team with the red team managing to destroy the blue this is a very close match. The table turned probably two two times at most, at, at least. Um, the red team with the level advantage at first, uh, managing to capture both immortals, and then suddenly the blue team manages to push tides into their favor, uh, managing to capture two immortals, sending both of them to the team. And in the end, it was almost a base race of around 30 to 69 percent, and red team managed to emerge victorious so thank you for tuning in thank you for listening to my stream once again this is teddy pay signing off